Welcome back, survivors. Mr. Z here. And we are in Imperion. Alright, guys. Today, we're going to do a little bit of work on this base. Not a whole lot. But I want to try to get the repair bay, repair console, all that stuff installed. And, you know, get it going pretty good. Hopefully, maybe... Since we're spending a little bit more time here than I thought we originally would. Uh... And because, you know, we do have fuel and stuff like that that we have to maintain. I'm thinking about tossing in a handful of solar panels, too, to kind of help with power consumption and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. So, like I said, I want to do a repair bay and all that. Um... I don't mind putting the repair bay up here, but I want to put a console in. And I kind of want the console tucked away a little bit. So I think we're going to come over here. And we're going to try to work on getting... Getting a console put in. But I don't want it to be, you know, ground level. I do want it to be buried a little bit. So, and of course I messed that up, didn't I? Yep, alright. Let's go ahead and just run that like that. Okay, good, good, good. So, like I said, I want to get it buried just a little bit. I don't know how far down we actually need to go. But I'm thinking that we'll just kind of kind of do a little something like that, a little bit like that, and we'll dig down a little bit and we'll see what we can get done. So I need the rock drill. Nope, not rock drill. Ground drill. This one. So we'll go ahead and dig that down. And now I like to use the flattening tool just because it makes everything look a little bit neater. So, we're going to do a little bit of flattening here. And we're not going to make this too big of a room. But, like I said, I do want it below because we are getting drone attacks still. And I don't want the console to be blown up because, well, it is expensive to make with all the... Stupid Zasconium. Ah, frustration. That's all I can say. Is frustration. Alright, so that actually... Might... Yeah, well, that's going to be a little bit high. A little bit low. Huh. Okay, so we need to go just a bit further down. Which is fine. Go ahead and dig that down a bit. And... So, I don't know if I want to put a cover on it or not. I kind of do, I kind of don't. Honestly. I don't know if it's deep enough to warrant putting a top over it, but having it down a little bit will at least keep it from getting shot at constantly, I think. I could be mistaken, but I think. Uh, yeah, let's pull this one out. Uh, yeah, I know, I could technically tuck it back up under the platform itself, but eh, I'm not really feeling that. So let's go ahead and come back over here. Hopefully I got it over one. Yeah, yeah, I did. We'll just go ahead and do that. Yep, that ought to work. Okay, so we'll just bring this out. Like so. 
bring this one out too. And probably just a little something, something like that. Okay, so that would be, I want to make this just a bit wider. Okay, we got that, got that. All right, we can do a little something like that, and I'm thinking like so. Yeah, that'll give us a little, a little nook and cranny to kind of hide down in. Let me come over here and take a look at the side. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. Can I have my jumps, please? Thank you. Yeah, that's not too bad. We might actually move that gun out. I think we are. I think we're going to go ahead and move that gun out. I like to try to keep that nice and even there. Okay. Let's do that. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Okay. So now I can just go ahead and pop this little cannon off. We'll go ahead and drone up. And we'll place you there. We looking good? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, that brings it up a little bit higher. Gets it a little bit more ground level for this side. So I think that will help improve this gun's performance anyway. So, yeah, that's good. That is good. And then we'll just kind of slap together a little bit of a wall here. I could actually bunker this in a little bit if I wanted. You know, that'd probably be the smart thing to do is to go ahead and bunker it. I mean, if you're going to do it, why not do it right, right? So, I might have to go make some more armored concrete, honestly. And the game's going to be funny and make it to where it doesn't want to play nice with me. Yep. We'll just do this. Okay. Um, let's see if my drone can get it. Oh, the drone can get it. I don't know why I can't get it. <laughs> let's move back one more. Get our drone back out. We'll go ahead and fill that in. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, we can kind of go down through there. 
kind of want to change that block. Let's go ahead and just put one of these in. There we go. That gives a little bit more headway. Yay! Alright, so I don't think I have any lights in here. We got our repair station. We got the repair bay. I don't have... No, I don't. Alright. Um, I don't know if I have any in here. No, not seeing any in there. Solar panels. Yes, we have a lot. We have a lot. Okay, so solar panels and I really don't need that many lights. I don't think... Okay, so we got that. I need... What else do I need? I need a capacitor. Which... I don't think I have one. No, we don't. Alright, so we need to build a capacitor. Alright. Capacitors. Where are you? There it is. Yay. And it looks like we got more drones. And that is the exact reason why we are bunkering so much. You know, actually... go ahead and pull this off really okay I hate when I accidentally shoot the blocks. So, I'm thinking that I actually want to put a little bit of a ramp right here. That way, if for whatever reason, if we are coming from that direction, we can just kind of glide right down over here. And not really worry about it. And how big is this console? It's actually not that big, is it? Um, 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 um. Let's put it right there, and I'm going to go ahead. And we're just going to kind of box it in a little bit. That way we have a little bit more support on that edge right there. So... We'll go ahead and box that in. Put a light down here just so we have a light. Yeah, that's tucked away pretty nice. And, oh, I don't know where it would be a... I kind of want it off to the side just because. Let's just put it like right here. Yeah, we'll put it, like, right there. I think that'll work. So, hopefully that doesn't get... get hammered on. I mean... I don't know if leaving a tank parked over the top of it will help protect it, or if it'll, like, draw attention to it. So, we'll leave it there. Um, actually, let's see... Let's test it out. 
see, we need to turn this off, right? Okay, you're turned off. Oh, you know, I can't because we didn't save the other blueprint. Urgh. Yeah, so I better not use it just yet because that's going to mess stuff up. Oh, that's horrible. I forgot about that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess with that then. Are we? No. It was just scratched up a little bit. What is that? Oh, they didn't get textured. Okay. Well, just some stuff. Anyway, back to doing things. <laughs> before I get... Before I forget and get off on a sidetrack here. Solar panels. We need to get solar panels installed. Uh, wow, those are bigger than I thought they were going to be. Wheel? Okay, which direction is which? That's to the east, so technically sun would rise over there. Um... Alright guys, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to dig some of this out and I'll bring us right back. Okay guys, I am back. And I did a lot of digging and I had an idea. My idea was that if we came over here from this room and came over here and did this. That we could make an underground tunnel all the way over here to our other room. So that's what we're doing. So I had to dig a little bit of it out and start a little bit of it just to make sure that it was gonna work and it will. Oop. We can't jump. We dug the hole too deep. But like I said, as you can see, the drones are not getting any easier. So, you know, that's the thing. Uh, we need to come over here and get some more of, well, we have a few blocks here. Get some more armored concrete. Come on, why are we not eating? There we go. But we need that. We need a couple of elevator blocks. And... I'm not really concerned about doors. Um... Do we have any doors? Eh, we have a couple of regular... Well, we have some armor doors here. And we'll take them. Am I concerned about it? No, not really. I mean... <laughs> Um, unless they improve the AI to where the Xerox will raid your base, I'm not seeing a need for it. Not really seeing a need for it, guys. We can just come down here, just like this. Stay out of the rain. Anyway, uh, yeah, we gotta run this down. Y'all know me, I like to make sure my stuff is armored up. And I'll have to dig that out slightly, but that's okay. And we did that. All right, cool. Awesome. Great. Let's get back over here. And drone. Ah, oh, we were looking at the sky. I was like, why can't I see anything? All right, so I want to put... Yes, just like that. I was hoping that was deep enough. Oh, 
All right, so we can't quite do that many, and I want to dig out this just a bit. I don't know if we actually have to, but, you know, my preference say dig it out. Why are we, like, digging a hole deeper over here? Odd, but okay. Alright, game. What is going on here? Why are you not flattening out properly? Oh, I bet it's because we're not standing. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, maybe. Alright, so we got solar panels here. And then we can come over here. And we need to put our capacitor in. Which, I think we can just put it in here. I don't really see a whole lot of reason not to. I mean, yeah, we have our other our other stuff over there that's, like, better, but, yeah, I'm not worried about it. Just dig that out a little bit. Put a couple lights down in here. And elevator blocks. There we go. Uh, yeah, that'll work like that. I don't think, yeah, we never did put any lights down in here. So let's put a light there. Um... Put a light there, and ta-da, we have lights. Alright, so now we have a way to get from one end to the other, just in case we need to for whatever reason. I highly doubt that we will, but, you know, it's aesthetically pleasing to add little stuff like this in, and... We haven't really got to do a whole lot with base work, and maybe one of these planets will build, like, a cool, like, fancy-looking base. But for right now, we're just building utilitarian bases just out of necessity. Hey, green fog, green sky. That's awesome. All right. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it, digging it, digging it. So we got our defense there. That's a weird sound. I don't think I've ever heard that sound before, but okay. Anyway. Uh, battery power, 1% because we're in the fog and we can't see and all that. But I do think that, how many do we got here? Four? One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, it won't, like, completely take over the power, but it'll be enough to supplement so that we're not constantly draining everything. And that's fine. I am okay with that. 100%. Alright, guys. Well, I'm not sure if... Ah... Uh... I'm not sure what we'll do in the next episode because our tank that we're working on in the build series isn't quite finished yet and I really don't want to bring it in until it's done. So I mean like I could record the other stuff and bring it in here and then like three days later finish it over there type thing. You know what I'm saying but I don't really want to do that so... 
I don't know what we're going to do in the next video, honestly. I'm going to think about it, try to figure it out. Mm, we might just do some scouting in the SV tomorrow. Maybe. Because uh, I really don't want to skip. We already skipped yesterday due to unfortunate circumstances. So I don't want to do that again. But we'll figure out something to do. And we'll go from there. But anyway, guys, I do think that's just about it for today's video. Yeah, we got a tunnel. We got a repair bay room. We got solar panels installed. I'm digging it. I'm liking it. And yeah, they'll do it, guys. All right. So anyway, I do hope everybody has enjoyed today's video. If you have, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself, guys. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared, guys. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said... Until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.